Hello everyone. This is a small video that has a list of important pests, insect pests, and also a important disease in hibiscus. I hope this video will be very useful for all homeowners, gardeners, agriculture students, and everyone who has interest in hibiscus plant. Hibiscus are one of the most popular ornamental plants in the world. They look great in a container, in a patio. They are great shrub plants in the landscape and they can be a great hedge plant on your fences. These plants are woody and hardy in nature. That means they can survive in adverse environmental condition. They are perennial plants. That means they can survive for 5 to 10 years once you plant them. And also they are a frequent flowering plants, which means they produce tons of flower in the summertime. There are different types of hibiscus plants. Tropical hibiscus or hibiscus rosa sinensis is one of the most common hibiscus plants that are grown in a tropical region. Today we are going to talk about major insect pest and disease that can affect these tropical hibiscus and this is me coronavirus and the hibiscus plant in the background let's start with the mites these mites feed on underside of a leaf causing stippling dots bronzing and also ultimately defoliating the leaves two spotted spider mites are very common mites you can see with the naked eyes but with the lens you can clearly see two spots on them and they are pretty common in hibiscus. Other than two spot spider mites, red mites are also pretty common mites that affect the hibiscus leaves. Another pest problem in hibiscus is aphids. These aphids are everywhere under side of the leaf, on the flower bud. These aphids cause leaf yellowing and stunted growth. They produce these honeydew that favors the deployment of black shooty mold and that black shooty mold definitely reduces the ornamental value of the crop. Some of these aphids inject the toxin to the plant causing defoliation and stunted growth. They also transmit different viral diseases as well. Thrips are another group of plant disease vectoring insects. There are different kinds of thrips that affect the ornamental plants. Common damage from these pastes are leaf distortion, leaf curling, bronzing, speckles, and dropping of flower buds and leaves. Caterpillars could be an, another problematic insect. They chew and bite the leaves, which reduces the photosynthesis area on the plant. They also leave their poop or frass on the plant. White flies could be an, another group of problematic insect. They are sucking insect that sucks the plant sap and cause leaf distortion, yellowing, Similar to thrips, aphids, and medibug, these insects also transmit different viral diseases. Let's scout this field for the white fly. When you're scouting for white fly, you can look on the underside of the leaf and you will see tons of eggs produced by white fly. And also you will see white fly flying around the plant canopy. Orange variety of hibiscus, sundown orange and orange doubly are the most susceptible varieties of hibiscus to white fly. Beetles are another common insect that you will see in hibiscus plants. They basically eat and chew the leaves 
reduces the ornamental value and reduces the photosynthesis area. Belonging to the same order like beetles, hibiscus bud weevil are another problematic pest to the hibiscus and they are new to flora. You see these buds on the ground. These buds have been infected with hibiscus bud weevil. The adult lay eggs on the bud and the larvae make these holes to get inside the flower bud where they feed on the pollen. They feed on the pollen and they complete their life cycle feeding on the pollen and emerges as an adult. These pests are hard to reach with contact insecticide. Therefore, there are only few limited systemic insecticides that have been recommended for the control of this pest. This is the adult weevil that is hovering around the flower bud where it is going to lay the eggs that is going to convert to the larvae and larvae is going to make the hole in the flower bud and feed in the pollen and complete the life cycle. This will result into premature flower bud dropping and you will end up with the hibiscus plant without any flowers. This weevil affects all kind of hibiscus plants but especially painted lady pink hibiscus is the most susceptible variety to this weevil. Other than insect pest problem, there are few diseases that are problematic to hibiscus. Bacterial leaf spot caused by Pseudomonas and Xanthomonas are one of the most common plant disease in hibiscus. Symptoms of this disease is the irregular shaped lesion with black border and distorted leaf. Ultimately, the dead tissue in the lesion falls off, giving this thought hole appearance. This disease is more common in younger plants that has a weak leaf and the time of the year with prolonged rainfall. Yellow variety of hibiscus, hibiscus sunset yellow, and orange variety of hibiscus, orange sundown, are very susceptible to this bacterial leaf spot. So these were all of the insect pests and diseases. I hope this information was very useful to everyone. If you have any questions, concerns related to the hibiscus production pest, you can comment below and I'll try to answer them as much as I can.